Hey everybody, Justin DeLay from Reverb here, and we are at the Quilter booth checking out really an amazing piece of technology, piece of music gear history brought back to life with the Panopticon. So first, Mr. P, can you give us a quick history of what we're looking at here? All right, well, if we were at NAM in 1971, I'd probably be giving you uh, a brochure like this for the Optigan, which was a home organ made by Mattel that used a novel technology. It didn't produce sounds electronically, it produced sounds from optical discs that were encoded with film soundtrack loops. And it's kind of like the Apple Garage Band for 1971. And an Optigan disc looks like that. And uh, it was a failure in the marketplace, but it wasn't too long before kind of more experimentally minded musicians like Devo and people like that got a hold of them and started abusing the technology because it makes a very sort of grainy lo-fi sound that you can really manipulate in lots of different ways with drum loops and things like that. So about 10 years ago, Robert here developed a way to make new Optigan discs and we've been developing new um, discs for about the last 10 years and selling them and like the logical progression leads to the new instrument which is also Robert's creation so it's it's kind of a re a reimagined Optigan for the 21st century for producers and people that are looking to get a real organic kind of Mellotron type vibe into what they're doing but with a totally different format and different functionality so We have three modes. This is manual mode, so we can change the pitch or the speed of the the uh, program disc on demand and disrupt his playing, or we can hit the servo button to get concert pitch and still disrupt his playing by touching the disc and have it kind of boing back, or we can put it in copy drive mode. And when right now it's scanning little strobe lines we have on the modern discs, and then once you're it scans it, then he's in copy drive, and he can move the uh, pitch bend wheel to speed it up. He can hit it hard and get some aftertouch modulation going, or he can use the modulation wheel. even has an expression pedal that'll change the pitch, too, if he pushes on it. And so, basically, it takes the Optigan technology and allows you to do all sorts of gymnastics, including playing it forwards and backwards and starting and stopping it. We also have a side chain of DSP effects. It's all analog. It's controlled digitally, but the DSP is the digital kind of overlay that you're provided. So it's a fun toy. You know, it allows you to do creative things and get new ideas. And so far, uh, the feedback we're getting is that we kind of hit the mark on it. Spring price point, we're targeting $39.99. $39.99, awesome, there you go. You heard it here, Panopticon, future retro technology, back, brand new sounds, blow your mind, check it out.